Hey guys, Dan Murphy, Long Island Realty here. Welcome to another real estate video. Uh, today in this video, I'm going to talk about the top seven questions you should ask your real estate agent when buying a house. So the first question I would recommend you ask is, you know, how much experience do you have? You know, if you if if, if the agent comes out and says, listen, I've been doing this 20 years, 10 years, 15 years, five years. I mean, that's that's really good. You kind of don't want the agent that's going to say, hey, I, you know, I just got my license last week and, uh, you know, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. but with that said, you know, you just want to make sure that the real estate agent has done transactions and he's followed through with, uh, you know, from point A to point B, uh, you know, the, the, the process of, you know, buying a home, being pre-approved. Um, I'm going to attack, uh, excuse me, attach a video uh, that gives you the the necessary steps to buy a home at the end of this video. The second question you should probably ask your real estate agent is, hey, how do I subscribe to this channel? Because this channel is unbelievable. Hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. Actually, that's not the second thing. The second thing you want to ask your agent is, uh, you know, why did you choose real estate? You know, you may get a guy that comes up and says, Hey, you know what? I chose real estate because my cousin does it, and now he's got a nice Rolex watch, he's got a beautiful Mercedes, and he's got a 5,000 square foot home. He makes a lot of money. No, 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 no. That's not why, in my opinion, that's not why you want to choose that guy. You may want to choose the guy that says, hey, listen, uh, you know, you walk into an open house. Do you know anything about the area? You know, I'd be more than happy to show you around. Do you know anything about the steps going through buying a home? Um, are you pre-approved? My goal here is to help people, you know, achieve the American dream. Get into their home, get into their dream home. Uh, you know, put in the time to help these people get pre-approved, go through the process. If you have questions, he's going to be there for you. He's going to answer them. That's the agent that you want to help you. Question number three kind of coincides with question number one. Number Question number three. How many transactions have you done? Well, you know what? I uh, I did uh, haven't done any. Um, I just got my license two weeks ago. Um, I was an auto mechanic and retired and decided to go into real estate. You want to make sure that the agent has been through the process multiple times. You also want to know that he's confident enough that if an obstacle comes up, that he's going to get you through that obstacle and there's not going to be any issues. And if there are any issues, he'll be able to navigate through and help you through. And he will have, you know, everything lined up from making an offer all the way to the closing table to getting your new keys for your new home. Question number four, what areas do you cover? You want to make sure that the agent that you hire um, covers the area where you want to live. You want to ask, uh, you know, questions. You, do you know the area? Do you know the area well? Um, you know, if an agent tells you, hey, listen, you know what? I've lived in this area for 30 years or my whole life. Um, I raised my kids here. I went through the school system here. Um, I shop here. Um, I was a coach in the local youth sports. Um, you know, someone who's involved in the community and knows the area very well. That's the agent that you want as your agent when you're walking through or going through a particular town. Question number five, do you work on a team or do you work alone? Either is okay, okay? In today's uh, real estate business, okay, um, the business has gone to like a team concept, which which can be pretty good. And, and in that team, one person will be responsible for buyers, one person will be responsible for sellers. It's almost like when you go to, uh, I, I don't know, a medical office and you have someone that checks you in, you have someone that brings you to the back, you have someone that questions you when you're sitting down, and then all of a sudden you see the doctor. Basically, each member of the team will have a specific task to help your transaction go smoothly. If you're working with someone who works alone, that's okay too. You get good personal service. Um, you just want to make sure that you know, he is not, he doesn't have a workload that, that has, you know, he has so many people that he's working with that if a question comes up or you need to get him, you cannot get him. Um, but either, either way is all, is fine. Working with a team or working with an individual. Number six, will I pay a commission? 
Well, if you're a buyer, in a typical real estate transaction, the seller, when he lists his home, he lists to pay, uh, part of his obligation in the listing is to pay a commission. Okay, and when that commission is paid, it is split between the two brokerages um, who consummate the deal. So if the seller is the listing agent and then you know uh, you have another agent that brings you as the buyer you're not going to be responsible because the seller ultimately pays the full commission and that commission is split between the two brokerages question number seven how do you communicate with your with your buyers or your clients well you know what um you may want to talk to the guy that says, hey, listen, I communicate every day. Let's say you're a buyer, you're a first time home buyer and you pick an area um, and you, you kind of want a guy that's going to come in and say, hey, listen, this is what I do. I will pick, uh, I, I will search your area every day to see what new inventory comes out and I'm going to find out the criteria of the homes that come out on the market to see if they fit your your needs. If that's the case, I will email them to you and then maybe follow that up with a text message to say, hey, you know, um, I did send over a list of listings that came out today that fit your criteria. And, uh, you know, let me know if you'd like to see any of them. You kind of want to stay away from the guy that says, well, you know, um, I'll probably call you every Monday at seven o'clock at night. And, uh, you know, I'll let you know what came out during the week. In this market today, the homes are moving too fast. Okay, so you want to have an agent that's going to be right on top of the market and will be in communication with you maybe every day. Question number eight. Ask your agent if he has any questions for you. You want the agent to come and say, hey, uh, you know, what are you looking for in an agent? You know, how can I make this experience better for you? Okay, what are the necessary steps um, for me to get your business. Um, how would you like me to proceed going forward? So, and it's okay for you to give your expectations of what he's supposed to do for you. Because ultimately, when you do a transaction, he will get paid. So there you have it, guys. The eight questions that you need to ask the real estate agent that you are considering to work with. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the share button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. And to show my appreciation, I've included a link down in the description box for you to download your free home buyer's guide. All right, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, have a blessed day.